Hi, I'm Steve Root from Root's Kitchens, Bedrooms, Bathrooms. Five years ago, I created a video explaining how to remove and put back on a Neff slide and hide door. It's an easy thing to do until the hinge slides apart, making it very difficult, which happened to me, and I briefly explained how I fixed it. It seems that I'm not the only one that had that trouble, and with over 190,000 views, I've had a lot of questions asking for more detail of what to do. I recently got called to one of our kitchen installations and that had the same door problem. So I fixed it and I filmed it and here it is. You can see the claw isn't engaged and the sliding part of the hinge is in the wrong place. So to fix it, first remember the hinge spring is very strong. Keep your fingers clear or it will hurt if it snaps shut. I used a screwdriver as a lever and kept my fingers clear. I then released the hinge lock. See the earlier video if you're not sure what this step is. I used the screwdriver as a lever to move the hinge down slightly as if the door was opening. That lifts the claw so I could slide the rolling part of the hinge back into place. Carefully allow the hinge to return to its previous position and then lock the hinge. Before letting go, make sure that the hinge lock has engaged. You'll see I had to do this twice to make that work. Now, how does this make me feel? Haha, <laughs> done it. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. I do try and answer them all. My name is Steve Root. This is Root's Kitchens, Bedrooms, Bathrooms.